still we're out in the bite, to be fair though. It's a bit more gusty than we thought. It's uh, 23 knots, gusting, gusting somewhat off above that. It varies considerably. So we're two reefs in the main, two reefs in the Jenny. And, and uh, I'm just sort of like thinking I need to just gen up on um, when I should be on two reefs, three reefs. You know, because there's different speeds uh, and wind speeds uh -huh. uh, for the different reefs. So clear ahead. But uh, yeah, yeah. This I have to say, I'm quite four, scared. Four, forecast was force four. Yeah, I'm a bit sort of like very apprehensive, but. Currently got five. The little dinghies are doing an absolutely cracking job. <laughs> I'm just thinking. <laughs> oh golly, I used to be a dinghy sailor. We've got yellow sails, they must be um, the RS's, you know, the ones with the yellow sails. Yeah, uh, so the little RS's, but it's just sort of like, they're out here, they're doing a cracking job. We're in a much bigger boat and I'm like, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Oh, so now we've just got to decide what the heck we're doing for the day. Yeah, because there's not much shelter and there's not much to do out here and it's too windy for the manoeuvres we were thinking of. Well, well we do want to go over there where they are. They're we, using... can't, we can't use the boys. We can't use the marks they are using. Yeah, so we'll have a think and uh, this video will be whatever it is. Yeah, anything can happen. Absolutely. Probably will. Okay. <sighs> okay, so we're going to tackle. That means we're going over toward that green field. Yes, so I'll set, up, I'll set up for the reverse tack as soon as I can. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is uh, turn off the autopilot. Good move. <laughs> and uh, take the uh, lock off. Even better move. <laughs> so the lock is off right. and the autopilot's off. I don't see any pots. No, I can't see any pots. Okay. That's so good. good luck out first. Yeah. And get ready to tack. Ready. Tacking. Yeah. Or on the old um, the old rudder, if you can. I've, I've got it full rudder bed. Okay. Come round, and it Beverly is now. Oh, over, overdone it. Got a tangle. There we go. And now that I'm tacked, I've got to put the rudder the other way. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> in for the green field. Well, I'm on full rudder the other way now. It'll pick up in a minute. I've just realised we've still got the engine on, so if I need to, I can always put the engine on. Yeah. Because uh, I haven't done that sound that I love. Yeah, I know. Which is... Go, go that way a little, actually. You're too close to wind. Look at the index. You're actually too close to wind. Yeah, like that? Yeah. Instead of the green field, aim for that... Is it a greenhouse? That big, long, thin building? Okay. There, that should do. Feel okay. picking up. Yeah. Okay, are we going to do the major magic thing then and turn the engine off? Up to you. You're the skipper. Push the button, yeah. Engine's off. Not that it was doing anything. No, but we're at least set up now. Yeah. I'm gonna just put go yeah. like Beverly says, I'm just a little bit too close. Just a wee bit too close. That's why my um, forward sail is lopping. Also, our uh, Windex is out of place, isn't it, Bev? Yeah, the Windex is twisted in the winter storms. It means that some unusually calm day, I will probably get hauled up the mast. Out enough. No, we're not. When we're a bit further out, after the next tack, uh -huh. I might drop a third reef in. You know, heave two and drop it in. I think that's a good idea. We've got a small boat approaching from over there. Yeah, uh, I don't think we'll worry about that. So, at the moment, we're close hauled. 
Pretty so, much, yeah. So, um, for our boat, um, we are literally 50, 60 degrees. <laughs> well, I don't have the, um, I don't have the traffic set, I don't have the kicker set. Yeah. So we're not making the best of it here. We could, we could go a lot closer to wind. We're crossing the line of this little boat, do you see him? Yes. But I think we've still got plenty of room before we need to tack. Or do you want to do it now before he's anywhere near us? I think if we tack now, we'll do it now. Okay. Okay? Almost. And then he'll go be on our stern, basically. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, ready? Okay, ready to tack. Tacking! That's it, get a rubber nice and, nice and positive, that's what I say. I'll keep this till take the nose through. The nose is going through. Just believe the seal like that, it'll bring us through. Yes, it has. Okay, we're on. I'm now on 100% um, the other way. Right, loading the other winch, there we go. Yeah, he's nowhere near, isn't he? Yeah, but he's going to go to our stern now. Safest place. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the safest place to be. So, I'm going to try. And I think it's a broad reach. Because I, like I a... thought we were on a close reach, but we're actually less than 60 degrees. Have a loose line at the mast, look. Oh yes. I'm gonna go forward on the windward side. This is from the spinnakers. Okay, um, I'm doing the wrong thing, Bev. Sorry. Just stay with me. I'm nearly done. I was uh, going that way, but I don't want to do that way. I want to go that right, way. Right, I'm going to have to ease up me in out again. With too much wind. Well, we are actually only 60 degrees, you know. Yeah. It's because that um, Windex is really buggered. I know it is. But I'm just judging by the heel of the boat. Yeah. Let's heave to and we'll drop a third reef in. Okay, so we're going to drop a... Um, we're going to heave to and drop a reef in. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so... Well, I don't have to do anything with that, just remember. It. Okay, so I'm clear. So what yeah. I'm going to do is we're going to tack, but rather than... Um, You've got to tack. We're going and, to let... And let's, rather than... We're going to let the sail go off and leave it like that. And then you're going to oppose the turn with the rudder. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do the tack. I'm ready on the main, because I've got to ease the main out. Okay, I pose the turn. I'm opposing the turn now. Look at the sand. Yeah, I'm feeling out the main. Right, looks Coming like she's settled. Time. Looks like she's, she's settled. settled. Okay, I'm getting this third reef in. Oh, got to release the halyard. I was going to say, you've got to release the halyard there. I'm just going to put one turn of it round there. Go right, on. Um, because of the uh, angle of um, the sail. Is it very tight on? You've, you've got a lot of pressure on the actual sail itself. Yeah, I see that. I'll bring it in a touch. Let's get it off the uh, lines, yeah? Yeah, because otherwise you've got too much pressure on the actual sail itself. Let's try that. That might be better. Still not coming down. I'm going to... Stay where you are. We'll complete the tack. I was going to say, let's complete the tack. Okay. Okay, here goes. Jenny's through the... Boat's underway again. Hey! Right, I'm 
gonna get some speed up. Because with all that manoeuvring, oh, Jenny's under control. Our speed under underway has gone down. Okay. <laughs> Don't take me too close to the Sorry, lens. I'm, I'm too close again. Just makes you realise just how much you rely on the um Okay. Let's see if I can get that seal to drop. No, she doesn't want it this. It looks about right, doesn't it? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Got him. Didn't make gluten free shred of wheat today. <laughs> if there is such a thing. I was going to say, is there such a thing? We need to tack again, don't uh, we? We do, we need to tack again. Bells, bells. No. Ready. Ready to attack. Am I heaving too? No. Okay. We've got boats behind us, but they're not a problem. But we have got a boat over there. And we've got a large boat behind you. As soon as this takes us through. Okay, you you see you seal the boat, and I'll get this under control. Wrong thing, wrong winch. Oh God, what a mess this cockpit is. I think I can go for one. Oh. Do you know what? I think I can go for a whole biscuit. I agree with you. Find your tea down there. Completely. Oh. Well, it's one of these magical days, isn't it? Where there's not much wind in the marina and you go out there and it blows your head off. At one point... Right, you see? <laughs> at one point, oh. we were actually... Uh, oh, that's so good. ...sailing with the uh, bare poles because we were trying to come in. But I could definitely feel the thrust oh. from the bare poles. There was all sorts going on out there today. Still, it was good to get out, good to get a bit of practice in, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. When it began, when it began get, when it began getting a bit frisky, could be yes. Um, I think the Americans would call it like DEFCON 1 or DEFCON 5, depending which way up the scale is, whether 1's good or 5's good or whatever. whatever. Um, but it got to that stage where it was time for everything to be concentrated on that. We turned the cameras off. <laughs> too, busy turn, too busy to turn them back on, weren't we? Um, if we had been more in our usual form, more in practice, more like by now we'd have been out for like four or five months. Oh, it'd have been. Would have been a lot better. It would have been a lot better out there. You know much, what I mean? much thicker. And it um, just shows you that this sailing is a skill, and it's a skill that you have to practice. Yeah, it's, not, it's like like flying. You've got to keep it up. You have a certain level of currency. Mm. Yeah. But you know, in spite of that, in spite of it all turning a bit a bit to poo. Um, I didn't feel worried. Oh no no no! We, we've got we've got enough base skills, mm -hmm. but it's just the fact that we're not as fit as we are. We need to get fit again. Yeah, because Beverly was on the sheets today, 
and I was working hard today in those sheets. Yeah, and then we swapped over and I did sheets just at the end. But you know, it was like last time. I knew I was like, Come, oh my coming god. Coming in here to this berth. Once we were coming up the alleyway backwards. Um it doesn't feel like there's a lot of wind in here, but for some reason the boat feels it. I don't, but the boat does. Mm. And it took two goes to get into this today because although I don't feel that there's much wind, the boat felt it and it started moving over on me. Um, and yet I thought the wind was pretty much from that direction. So why the boat just randomly chose to go the wrong way? No idea. But I've also discovered that in this slip, and it, you, you've reversed into this, I think more than I have to be honest. Um, I think you've got to get a lot closer to that cross pontoon up there. I think you've got, got to get really close to it. Otherwise you don't have, but if you get too close to these other boats, she wallows a bit while she's making her mind up. Oh, you wanted me to go backwards, now you want me to go forwards, and she sort of wallows around for a bit. And that's when the wind takes her. Yeah. And then you begin to drift, and we were so... When we did it at one o'clock in the morning, we got really close to those. I mean, I actually pushed us off one by hand. Uh, I, was, I was very close to those boats. And I didn't want to repeat that, so I moved a bit further over, but it meant it was too close. This is probably about as far up as you can come in these berths. For a, a, a reverse. To reverse up there and get in. Where, when we were where Undine is, it was easier. Yes, it was. Yeah, because you'd, you'd more, more run to get, a, get the boat back under control and get a good run at it. But it is what it is. We've got slapping halyards, got things to put away. Oh, a few okay. things came loose. <laughs> well, overall, I think things went pretty well. Yeah, all right. Well, that's it for now. And we'll see you in a bit. Go over a cup of tea. Absolutely. Cheers.